Look at that. That is incredible. That is Rumble de Tums made. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're doing a fantastic dish. All the way from the Scottish borders and in my humble opinion, I feel that this is the most comforting home cooked meal ever. It's a comfort dish which is just elevated with flavour. Um, you've got onions, cabbage, mashed potatoes, a slab of butter, topped with some cheddar trees, either grilled or baked. It is sensational. It's called Rumble de Tums. Yep, strange name, but there you go. And no one knows where the name came from either. So it's called Rumble de Tums, which is a fantastic dish, like I say, topped with cheddar cheese. Now, you can alter it around as much as you want. Put in meat, ham, bacon, anything. Okay, I've got an onion. I'm just going to fine dice this onion. Now, there is no fanciness for this at all. Okay, you just fine dice it any which way you want. That's it. And I'm going to put that in a bowl. Now I have some green onions and the green onions are completely optional. Okay, but with a little trick that I always do. So we just want to fine dice some of these onions. Now you can fine dice away as much as you want or you could put them in chunks. This is going in some milk. It's going to infuse the milk and the milk we are going to use to mash our potatoes. So I have a pan and we're just going to put those. In it goes. I'm going to go in there with a little bit of milk. How about that much? And that's what we're going to use to infuse our mashed potatoes. I'll just put that to one side. Potatoes. I've already started peeling and chopping, you know, just to make it easier. We are mashing potato. So all you've got to do is take the skins off with a peeler or a knife up to you. And we want to cut for mash. Now I'm going to quick mash these. So these are going to be small. in your pan of water. So I have a pan full of potatoes. I'm gonna shove it on the ring behind me to start it off. Now you can season these if you so wish. You know, you can put a little bit of salt in there, up to you. Now we want some cabbage. We don't want all that stalk end in there, obviously. So we're gonna take that stalk out. Do the same with that one. Now, we want some slices of cabbage. Just slice away. It doesn't matter how you slice, just slice it up. So, you know. Nice and steady. Don't rush. So we get this nice sliced cabbage. Carry on until you've done your cabbage. OK, 
cabbage sliced. Pan on. What a nice little frying pan on here for this one. Butter in. A good amount of butter. So we want a flame on. And what we're going to do is we're going to saute the onions first and then we're going to chuck that cabbage in there. Are we bothered about heating it all up? No, get your onions in. I'm going in there with some pepper. I like to cook that pepper in with the onions as we're cooking down. And then I'm going to season it a little bit more. So we don't have to hang around for this. We can take some of that lovely cabbage and put it in there. Start it off and then we'll add a little bit more. Now if you wanted to add garlic and things like that feel free to put the garlic in. It doesn't matter you know. You know what you like to eat, just shove it in there. Just gentle turn over, saute your cabbage and onions together. That's giving all that flavour in there together. We're not losing anything. And you're in control of how much you want to take this down. Do we want to take it down so it's really soft? Or do you want some texture? Now I do actually want a little bit of texture. So we're only going to cook it for a little bit longer. This will be going in the oven. Now you can put it under the grill and flash grill the top if you want to melt your cheese. But I'm going to stick this in the oven to melt the cheese so it's going to have a nice little bit of probably 15 minutes in the oven as well. Now that's good enough for me. I'm going to take that off the heat and I'm going to put the milk on. So that's coming off and I'm going to infuse that milk in there. Now don't be burning the milk, but we want those onions to infuse into that milk. That is going to be flavour that goes all the way through our mashed potato. And here we go, more butter. Let's get that melted in there with that. And we get a lovely buttery, milky, creamy onion mix that's going to go through our mashed potatoes. So when you've infused it for a minute or so, that's it. Turn off the flame and put to one side. And when your potatoes take a fork like that, they are done. Now what you have to do with mashed potatoes, I showed this before, you have to dry out those potatoes. If you want light, fluffy mashed potatoes, they are still full of moisture even when drained. So let's drain them. Okay, so we've got drained potatoes there. Back on the flame. So what we need to do is just give it a shake round, put it back on, and the moisture will come off the potatoes and evaporate out with the heat. No moisture in there, flame off. Now I'm going to mash these with a potato masher. You can use a ricer if you want, anything like that. 
Now I just prefer this type of potato just by mashing it with a masher. I actually not really want really, really creamy potatoes. I want a, quite a little bit of texture in there for this dish. So we've got our potatoes going on there and we're just going to go in there with our infused milk. Bring that in roughly. Let's not go too crazy. Try and keep some of that lumps in there with our infused butter and milk. That will do enough for me. And then we want to be taking our cabbage. Now I want about just over half cabbage in here. This is where I differ to everybody else. So we're going to go in that mash with that cabbage. Give it a, a mix up. Okay, we need to be layering this up. I'm using one of these um, glass dish things today, you know. It just looks a bit better if you actually thump it on the table afterwards. Now this is where I'm going to differ just a little bit to everybody else. I want a little bit of cabbage in there. Now I want that cabbage and mashed potato. We're going to do about that much. Something like that. We're going to get our spoon and we are just going to Dob it down. Got a little bit more cabbage going on there. It just gives us that extra, it's like a layer of flavour, you know. We're guaranteed on getting a lump of cabbage when we scoop it out. And come on, we've got to be different to everybody else. We want some cheese in there. Now normally the cheese goes over the top, but come on, let's have a, a layer of cheese inside. You know, this is comfort food at its best. We want that flavour all the way through there. A little bit of black pepper, optional. You could use mustard powder, up to you. Back on with some of our mash. This time we want to get it on, but not compress it. Gently, gently up to the sides. We want this thing towering. We want it towering over. And I've got a little bit of cabbage left here. A little bit on top of there. Just intermingle that in there. This is where we're going to differ. We want the cheese melting into there as well as through the mashed potato. So just loosen up the top, fluff it up, fluff it up. You know, this is our comfort food. We're enjoying this. Cheddar cheese, as much cheddar cheese as you like. That looks absolutely <laughs> flipping amazing. Oven on. 170. Okay, that's going in the oven. We want about 15 minutes. It doesn't take much longer to actually melt some cheese. Everything else is already cooked in there. So, you know, we're not worried about anything. We just want that little bit of meltiness oozing all over the top of that mash and cabbage. Okay, that's got it. That is sensational. That truly is sensational. That's rumble de tums made 
Look at that. My mouth is actually watering. Okay, I am going to cut through this cheese with this knife, obviously, because what will happen if we want to take a slice of this, if the cheese is cooled, it's going to take all the cheese off. Now, I would normally say this is six portions. Not today. It's four. Okay, enough waiting. I've got my shovel. Let's get in here. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ultimate, ultimate. Look at that. That is incredible. That is rumble de tums made. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most comforting dishes ever. Ultimate mashed potato, onions, cabbage, cheese. Oh, look. And all that milk infused onions in those mashed potatoes, bringing it all the way through. This is one of the most fantastic dishes of the world. <laughs> well done, Scotland. This is Rumble de Tumps made. And we know we've got that secret layer of cheese in there, which gives that cheese flavor all through that mashed potato and cabbage. What does it taste like? <laughs> My mouth is watering so much. Oh. Melted cheese. Oh, cabbage, mashed potato. Oh, onions. <laughs> oh, flipping egg. Oh, flipping egg. That is incredible. Got all that gooiness from the cheese through all that cabbage. Scottish rumble de tums made. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next video. Mm. Look in there. That extra layer of cheese inside, that gooiness, that's what makes it.